For about 40 years now, the Golf has been an effective symbol for the Volkswagen brand. Now the company revealed the seventh generation of this classic at the new National Gallery in Berlin. A very fitting venue. After all, the museum is regarded as an icon of the classic modern style, while the Golf is an icon of the compact class. The Golf has been a yardstick for all its competitors and has been sold more than 29 million times to date. A new Golf generation always carries a heavy burden. The new one has to be better than its predecessor, and that's not easy, since the previous model already set the benchmark for the compact class. Golf fans around the globe have high expectations of the new car. Designers knew this, of course, and stayed away from making any huge visual changes. Even though the new Golf 7 has become a little longer and wider, it's still easily recognizable as a Golf. The typical silhouette remains unchanged, in keeping with the idea of evolution. The revolution happened beneath the surface. Despite its increased dimensions, the Golf 7 lost a lot of weight, about 100 kilograms. If you reduce the weight of a vehicle, you can reduce everything else as well. One thing leads to another, and you get what we call the negative weight spiral. In this way, we're able to reduce the car's weight, and we have now reached the approximate weight level of the Golf 4 from 1997. We're not doing this for fun, of course. We do it because the weight we saved doesn't have to be accelerated, and it doesn't have to be decelerated either. So when you want to accelerate the car, the engine needs less power, which in turn means that it needs less fuel, and that leads to better fuel economy and lower emissions. For the diesel and the blue motion engines, we were able to reduce fuel consumption to 3.2 liters. This was only possible with meticulous attention to detail. Even the air conditioning system lost about 3 kilograms in weight. Lower weight in combination with sophisticated engines, that's the formula of success if you want to achieve higher fuel efficiency. Fuel consumption has been lowered by up to 23% despite the car's bigger size. The Golf 7 surely is the most important car for Volkswagen, but for the entire group as well. And we're happy about the feedback we've received this evening, which tells me that we are on the right track with our vehicle, both in terms of design and technology. It's a very green car. One of the most important features is that we now have a 3-litre Golf, 3.2 litres to be exact, and that's a remarkable statement in the compact segment. However, the less is more principle only applies to fuel consumption and weight. In terms of features, the new Golf takes its cue from the upper class. But VW aimed for more than just additional comfort. Safety systems have been beefed up enormously as well. Now there's a selection of optional assistance systems that make life easier in ever-thickening traffic. Take city emergency braking, for example, adaptive cruise control or lane assist. Operating the Golf has become easier as well. The touchscreen recognizes the driver's approaching finger and automatically launches the operating mode. It may seem like a small thing, but it makes interaction easier while making it less distracting. There are a number of smaller details improving the ergonomics of the driver's seat. The distance between accelerator and brake pedal has increased by almost 2 centimeters. The gear stick has moved up. Even before the Golf goes on sale in November, it's a foregone conclusion that it will continue to set the tone for the compact class. Its character, that earned the trust of millions of buyers, has remained the same, while many of its details were improved, just like a true icon.